do one more question from at Basil is a Guna. Nice uh, name. Yeah. How would your infamous back four fare in the current game? Slowly. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you saw us now trying to run, it would be <laughs> slightly different. But um, Good question. <laughs> I think the game has changed. There's no doubt about that. The way that back fours and, and midfield and the shape of you know the, the, the four, two, three, one system is kind of vogue in, on vogue at the moment. Everyone's doing it. So the role of the full backs are different. But I always go back to, and I try to, when I'm analysing on the TV, try to take this into consideration that it's not like when I played. And you can... You know, you can look at things and say, "Oh, he should have done this because we would have done that," and and that be a mistake to do that. But there's still basics. It's about getting the ball and putting it in the other end in the net, and it's about stopping the opposition doing the same to you. So there's only certain amount of things that an opposition can do to try and do that against you. And as a defence, I think if you're organised and you're together and you understand each other's positional. Um, sense and you get that bit right, then you minimise the 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 risk of conceding a goal. And that's the game's always been like that since it was invented. It's about stopping the ball and being organised and, and closing people down and pushing them to where you want to push them, not letting them do what they want to do. Trying to stop, you know, trying to make them do what you want to do. So as a defence, if you are organised, and I still think if we were fit, you know, if we were go back to when we were 24 or 23, 24. Maybe a bit older, maybe 25, 26, because you've got a bit more experience then. When I first got in the Arsenal side, I was only 23, and it was all a bit new to me, and it was all off the cuff. We won the league that year in 89, first season, but it was all a bit off the cuff. And, and then over the period of the years with George Graham and the defensive work and getting that right and learning that side of the game, we then became it became easy. You know, you could... You, know, you have to still concentrate and still work, but the positional side of the game became very easy. I was talking to Martin Keown over the, at the Slovenia game about defending and the goal that England gave away with Cahill and Smalling getting themselves a little bit out of position and Cahill trying to play offside and what would we have done. And of course we got made mistakes and we got in that position where you're gambling and go and try and play them and they got through and scored. Of course that happened, but you try and minimise the... the, the, the um, positional mistakes you make I still think if we were playing now we'd get that right more than we'd get it wrong so I think we'd do okay whether we'd, we would do as well as we did the offside rules of if, if if anybody out there knows what the offside rule is, please, <laughs> please, please tweet. send it in. <laughs> <laughs> because that's got very complicated obviously we do understand it but it's the, the intricacies of that make the defender's job that much more difficult, let alone the linesman and the and the referee. So you're in a position where we would have done okay, and I think with our uh, I don't want to sound with our football intelligence that we learnt over the years through hard work with George and then again with Arsen, we'd, I'd like to think that our back four would and the goalkeeper of course and the two in front protecting us and, and Vieira and Petit would have. Um, would have been been pretty good, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Lee. Hope My you pleasure. enjoyed that. When are we doing it again? <laughs>